If you have forgotten your password, don't worry, we have the solution. You need to boot up your machine with something that can read in TFS. Here are some options. Boot with any Windows installation media, the newer the version, the more likely it is that it has drivers for your hard disk. Linux with NTFS driver, Windows pre-installation environment. In my example, I'm booting it with a standard Windows 10 installation disk, actually an ISO of it, as this is a Hyper-V virtual machine. After booting, there are two options I recommend. If your computer doesn't have BitLocker, just hit Shift plus F10 to get to a command prompt. If your computer has BitLocker, start the setup and choose Repair, as it will ask you for the BitLocker recovery key, and then let you head on to a command prompt. This computer doesn't have BitLocker, so I just hit Shift plus F10 to get the prompt. After this, I'll find the Windows installation that I can't access. In this case, it's the C drive. Next you need to change the directory to Windows directory. Now, change the directory to System32 directory. First, run the following command. This command copies the sticky keys as a backup to the parent folder with the copy, space, file name, space, dot notation. Second, run the following command to replace the sticky keys command with a command prompt. And now restart your computer. This is what we did for years, but now, Windows Defender will catch this on Windows 10 and 11, so what you need to do is get the computer to safe mode. 1. Restart the computer. 2. On the login screen, click Restart while pressing the Shift key. 3. Select Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, then Startup Settings. 4. Select Restart. Five, choose the fourth option to enable safe mode by pressing 4 or F4. When you are on the login screen, press the shift key five times rapidly to get a command prompt with system access. Here, you can reset the user account passwords or create new users. In my example, I have an account called WinUser. This command will change its password to be 12345. And this command activates a disabled administrator account. This command changes the administrator user's password to 12345. This command creates a new username temp with the password is 12345. This command makes the new username temp member of local group administrators. And now, restart your computer. On the login screen, you can see the administrator account and the new created account. Now, enter the password you changed for one of these accounts.
After login, there is still some cleanup to do because the computer is still hacked which you can verify by pressing the shift key again, 5 times, it still starts a command prompt start a new command, prompt from the start menu elevating it with the run as administrator option. From this new command prompt, type the following command. This uses the backup with your restored privilege. A normal copy won't do, as the file is protected by Windows Resource Protection. You can verify that everything is back to normal by pressing the shift key five times. Notice the sticky keys notification pops up. If this video helped you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.